Hello everyone, this is Mom D again and welcome back to our channel, Matali lang to. So, sa video na to, matututunan nyo how to graph a line using two points, using intercepts, and using slope and a point. Bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating lesson, i-recall muna natin ang slope kasi importante ito at magagamit nyo to sa ating lesson. So, kung naalala nyo, sa pagkuha ng slope, we have different ways. So, syempre, depende to sa given. Kung ang given sa inyo ay graph. Okay, so dito kailangan natin kuhanin ang value ng rise and run. So, ito yung pagkakount yun ng numbers, number of steps moving from one point to another. Siyempre, pag rise, it's either ang movement nyo is pataas or pababa. Pag naman run, it's either pakanan or pakaliwa. Moving from one point to another point na kinonsider nyo sa line. Okay? So, how about ko ang given naman ay dalawang point or dalawang coordinates? So, dito kailangan i-consider nyo yung coordinates ng y. So, get the difference pag ipagmaminus lang natin. As well as yung coordinates ng x. So, ipagmaminus lang natin yung dalawang value ng x. And then, lastly, kung ang given sa inyo is an equation of a line, lalo na ito ay naka-slope intercept form, it's so easy na ma-identify kung ano dyan ang slope. Kasi ang slope natin dito, iyon lang naman is yung katabi ng ating x variable. So, and that is the value of m. So, like for example, ang equation sa atin is, y equals 2x plus 3, understood ng slope natin ay 2. Okay? Hindi 2x, kundi 2 lang. Common mistake kasi ng estudyante, pati x sinasama. Okay, so that's it. So let us proceed with our lesson. Umpisahan natin ang ating lesson describing the graph of a linear equation. So dito, ang kailangan lang is ma-identify nyo yung value ng slope Okay, so like for example, this one. So if this is the given graph, kailangan kuhanin muna natin ang slope. Okay, so tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, pag given na ay graph, kuhanin lang natin ang value ng rise and run. Okay, so but first, mag-identify muna tayo or kumuha tayo ng two points within the line. So, I will choose this one and the other point is this one. Okay? So, ang value ng rise naman is depende how many steps are we going to move upward or downward. Okay? And then, yung run is right or left movement. Okay? From one point to another point. So, yung rise natin, syempre mag-umpisa ako sa lower point. So, that will be how many steps upward. 1, 2. So, upward, so therefore that is positive. And then, that will be 1 step to the right. So, to the right, so therefore that's also positive. 2 over 1 is 2. So, therefore the slope is positive. So, if the slope is positive, what can you say about the graph? Okay, so the graph is increasing pataas okay so the graph increases or rises from left to right okay so baka nagtataka kayo bakit ang movement ko o ang step na ginagawa ko is 1 lang eh ang numbering natin is 4 to 6 6 to 8 so as you can see naman ang ating x at y axis ay parehas na by 2 kaya pwede natin going or it count as one step na lang per box. Okay? Next example. So, this is the next graph. So, again, identify muna natin yung slope. Okay? By choosing first two points. Okay? Choosing two points within the line. So, piliin ko, this will be my first point. And my second point is this one. Okay? So, identifying the slope. So, M is equals, okay, so ang rise natin, how many steps upward or downward? So, mag-umpisa ako sa higher point. So, that will be 1, 2. 
two steps downward. So therefore, that should be negative. And then from there, so that will be one step to the right. So positive. So therefore, ang slope natin is, okay, negative 2 divided by 1 is negative 2. So our slope is negative. So ano kaya masasabi nyo sa graph if the slope is negative? Okay, so if the slope is negative, the graph is decreasing. Pababa siya. So the graph decreases or falls from left to right. Pababa naman siya. Kanina, if the slope is positive, the graph increases or rises from left to right. So you see the difference. Okay, so let's have another example. So here, so we have another line given. So unahin natin, i-determine natin ang slope. So una, identify two points or choose two points rather within the line. So kayo ang pumili. So here, I will choose that one. And the second point will be this one. Okay, so now, kuhanin natin ang value na rise and run para masolve natin ang slope. So for this, so, syempre, mag-uumpisa ako sa lower point. So, mas maganda na yun kasi positive. Okay, so, long steps. Upward, so that will be 1, 2, 3. So, positive 3. Okay, now, yung run. Ano kaya ang value ng run? Kasi kung titignan nyo, ang ating points ay magkatapat lang naman. And then, ang ating line ay dumaan lang sa x-axis. So, we don't need to move right or left. Okay? So, hindi na natin kailangan nun. Kaya, ang value ng ating run here is 0. Okay, so if that is the case, 3 divided by 0 is undefined. Okay? So, that is infinite. At kung ang ating slope is undefined, ano ang masasabi natin sa graph? So, the graph is a vertical Line. So, kita nyo naman, patayo lang siya. So, the graph is a vertical line. Another example. How about if that is the graph? Okay, identify natin ang slope. Una, choose two points within the line. Okay, so piliin ko to. This will be my first point and this will be my second point. Okay, identify yung rise. Okay, so as you can see, ang points natin, ang dalawang point natin ay magkatapat lang. At ang ating line ay dumaan lang siya sa y-axis. So, hindi na natin kailangan pang mag-move ng pataas or pababa kasi magkatapat na nga siya. So, therefore, ang rise natin will be 0. How about yung run? So, yung run natin, so from one point to another, so that will be how many steps? 1. 2. 2 steps to the right. So, that is positive. So, 0 divided by 2 is 0. So, kung ang slope natin ay 0, what can you say about the graph? Okay? So, therefore, the graph is a horizontal line. So, nakita nyo yung difference? Pag horizontal line, makikita nyo, dumaan lang siya sa y-axis at ang slope natin ay 0. Pag siya naman ay undefined, or pag ang slope natin ay undefined, the graph is a vertical line. So, that's it. Okay, so for this one, let's have an example. Let us try to answer this one. We are going to graph the line using two points. Okay, syempre mag-uubisa tayo plotting the points. Okay, our first point is uh, 4, negative 2. Okay, 4, negative 2. I-locate muna natin ang 4, negative 2. So, okay, so 4. So, ito ang ating 4. So, negative 2. So, ito ang ating first point. So, yan, 4. And then, negative 2. How about the other point? Okay, so that will be negative 5, okay, and positive 2. So, negative 5, okay, positive 2. 
So, ito ang ating second point. Okay, so, yan. Katapat niyan ay positive 2 sa y-axis. So, now, let us draw the line. So, our line will be like that. Okay, so, we have to find the slope of the line. So, we already have that two points. Pwede natin gamitin sa pagkuha ng slope is the rise getting the value of rise and run, okay? Or pwede nyo rin naman siyang isolve using the formula for the slope. So, for this one, since may graph na tayo, kuhanin na lang natin ang rise and run. Okay? So, for the value of the slope, so, mag-uumpisa ako sa lower point. So, that will be how many steps upward? So, that will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, katapat na siya ng 2. So, upward ang ating movement. So, the rise is positive 4. And then, going to the left side, how many steps kaya papunta dun sa point? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so... That is to the left, so therefore, that should be negative. So therefore, ang slope natin is negative 4 over 9. Okay, so describe the graph. So if the slope is negative, so therefore, the graph decreases. from left to right. Okay? So, that's it. For the next example, ang given naman natin is the x and y intercepts. Okay? So, ano ba ang tinatawag natin x-intercept saka y-intercept? So, Dito muna sa ating Cartesian plane, ang blue line na horizontal line na yan, so, iyan ang ating x-axis. Okay? At yung red line naman, ang ating vertical line, iyan ang tinatawag nating y-axis. Okay. So, pag sinabi nating x-intercept, ito ay point. Point sa x-axis na dinadaanan ng line, ng ating graph. So, at what point sa x-axis? Siyempre, ang magiging coordinate nyo when we're talking about x-intercept at sinabing point, so, coordinate ang ating ibibigay. Okay? Siyempre, dumaan siya sa x-axis, meron tayong value for the x-coordinate. Pero, ang ating y-coordinate ay 0. Kasi, ang katapat niyan ay ang origin. Okay? Or ang 0 sa y-axis. And then, for the y-intercept naman, ito yung point na dinadaanan sa y-axis. Again, point na dinadaanan ng line sa y-axis. Kaya, ang coordinate natin, syempre, kung siya ay nasa y-axis, ang ating x-coordinate ay laging 0. And then, ang y-coordinate, iyon yung nagbavary, iyon yung nagbabago, depende kung saan dumaan ng ating line. Okay, so for this example, so it says here to graph the line using the intercepts. Okay, 2, 0, this is the x-intercept. So, nasaan ba ang 2, 0? So, 2 is the x-coordinate and 0 is the y-coordinate. So, 2, so ito siya. Okay, so that is the x-intercept. And then, ang ating y-intercept is 0, negative 4. So, nasaan ang 0? So, there, katapat niya ay origin, and then negative 4 sa y-axis. Okay, so, those are the two points. So, draw na natin ang line. So, therefore, ang line natin will be that one. So, pwede na natin ma-determine ang ating slope since we have the graph. So, pwede natin i-determine ang value ng rise and run. Okay. 
So, getting the value of the slope. So, therefore, syempre, consider na natin ang lower point, which is the 0, negative 4. So, ilang steps kaya pataas? So, that will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so upwards, so that will be positive. And then, from there, so that will be 1, 2. 2 steps to the right. So, therefore, that is positive. So, 4 divided by 2, ang slope natin is positive 2. So, ang slope natin is positive. So, describing the graph, so it only means that the graph, okay, increases from or rises okay from okay left to right so that's it okay so for our next example dito ang given naman is the value of the slope and a point on the line. Okay, so here, what we're going to do is to graph the line using the slope and a point. So here, paano natin siya i-graph? Okay, pag ang given sa atin is a point and the slope, okay, lagi tayo mag-uumpisa sa point. I-locate muna natin nasaan ba yung given point, which is 4, 1. Okay, so ang ating point ay... 4, ang x coordinate is 4, and then, okay, positive 1. So, ito ang ating point. So, yan, di ba? Katapat siya ng 4 sa x-axis at 1 sa y-axis. Okay, so now, paano natin gagamitin ng slope para mahanap ang other point? So, ang slope natin is negative 2. So, pag nag-graph tayo, it's better to identify the rise and run. Kung siya ay negative 2, pwede natin siyang isulat also in this form. Negative 2 over 1. Parehas lang siya. So, better na gawin natin siyang fraction. Lagyan lang ng denominator na 1. So, here, alam na natin that negative 2 is the rise. And then, yung 1 natin is yung run. So, paano natin yung gagamitin? So, from our point, Yung first point natin na 4, 1. So, kamitin natin yung rise. Ang rise is negative 2. So, it means downward movement tayo. Two steps downward. So, from the point na 4, 1. So, two steps downward. So, that will be 1 and then 2. And then, ang ating run is positive 1. So, from there, one step to the right side. So, 1. Okay, so therefore, ang ating point, next point, is here. So now, we have the two points. So that is the first one and, or rather, that's the second one. Okay, so ang ating line ngayon ay, yeah, that's it. So ganun lang. Lagi, pag nag-graph tayo, given ang point and slope, we always start with a point. Okay? And then, it's better na ang slope natin ay naka-fraction para alam natin ang rise and run. So, I have here another example. So, okay. So, ang given point natin is negative 3 and negative 3. So, nasaan kaya ang negative 3 and negative 3? Negative 3 ang x-coordinate, okay? And then, ang y-coordinate natin is also negative 3. So, here is our first point. So, ayan. Diba? And then, for our slope. Okay. Ang slope natin is negative 4 over 3. So, kung makikita nyo yung negative sign natin, nakatapat siya sa bar sign. Pero, pwede rin nyo rin siyang isulat as negative 4 over 3 or pwede rin 4 over negative 3. Parehas lang yan. So, kayo kung anong gusto nyo gamitin. Okay? So, for example, mas gagamitin kung um, slope is itong isang ito. 
So, ibig sabihin, ang rise natin is positive 4 and ang run natin ay negative 3. So, from that point, not negative 3, negative 3, gamitin natin yung slope to find the other point. So, rise is 4 steps upward. So, that will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and then ang run natin ay negative 3. So, to the left side. So, from there, so that will be 1, 2, 3. So, therefore, ang other point natin ay naan dyan. Okay, so now we have two points. Pwede na natin i-graph ang line. So, that's it. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. That's all for today. So, thanks for watching. So, sana naintindihan nyo. See you sa aming next video. Bye-bye!